Spotlight on Frazee is sponsored by these community-minded businesses and organizations. Frazee Family Foods, what a hometown grocery store should be. Friendly staff, family-owned, and a wide variety of groceries to fulfill your needs. The City of Frazee and Frazee Event Center, featuring a 5,000 square foot room, a built-in stage, and a full-service bar, perfect for a multitude of events. Call or click to book your event. Welcome to Spotlight on Frazee. I'm your host, Hank Ledke, and I'm here today at Joanne Neiman Memorial Park, and I'm interviewing Trisha Jorud. And Trisha lives in uh, Red Willow Heights behind me here. And you've been, you said, in the area about eight years now? It'll be seven next seven? week. Yep. Okay. And, and you like your neighborhood? Yeah. Yep. And it's growing, which is exciting. Yes. Yeah. Could see a new church here this year, too. Yeah. That'll that's be exciting. Interesting. Yeah. But you're interested in the parks. I am. Um, being a mom of two little ones and a teacher, I just think that parks are centers of towns and you get to meet and greet a lot of your neighbors that you wouldn't normally see um, on your block. So it's a wonderful gathering place. Well, you know, and and we we have a, a a number of parks in Frazee. I think we've got like ten. Yep. And with Eagle Lake, mm -hmm. and but that's a lot, you know, for the street department to handle. Besides everything else they do. Yeah. Well, and I don't believe that it should just be up to the city workers to keep them clean, and we're using them. So mm -hmm. if we see garbage or things on the ground that aren't um, where they should be, it's our duty as citizens to help clean it up. Well, and, and I understand you started a new program here in Frazee. Yeah, um, I'm working with uh, Mike Sharp and Mark Flemmer to um, create this Adopt a Park program in our community. There's um, lots of other small communities around that have <laughs> that have um, this similar program. And so we would really like to get the word out there to get some volunteers and get some action going this summer. Well, and this is the closest one to you here. It is, but you know, we bike around all summer long and mm -hmm. we visit all the parks and um, see what's going on. And there's different um, attributes to every park that we all like, so. Yeah, yeah. we, we have, a, have a number of different things at Adam, you know, and, and the thing nice at the Lions Park, you know, you've got the uh, disc golf now and mm -hmm. or Frisbee golf and but you've got the river there, yeah. You know, and and a playground, and uh, the car. and you get down to Riverside. You got the sliding hill during the winter. Yep. And the river again. Yep. You know, we we keep on seeming to get to water, but this one doesn't have any water near it. You got to go a few blocks to get to water, but yeah. It's in such a nice area here, yep. end of the street. Basketball hoop at the end of the street. Yeah, connected to um, the trail that brings you right to the other park at the school, which is fun to visit too. Mm -hmm. uh, we also have the My Little Library here at the end that the kids like to visit, and we yeah. like to drop off our own books at from time to time. That was a good program. Yeah, you know, and it's nice to see that that's kept on going too. So yeah, and uh, so you're you're soliciting help for your adopt a park program. Yeah. And uh, uh, I, I saw, saw your editorial in the paper. And like you said, you've been talking with the city, you know, about getting this going. And, and so how many volunteers have you gotten well, so far? Well, so far, um, being a transplant um, into mm -hmm. the Frazee community, I have started with connections. I'd like to make more. Just go sit in the car. OK, go sit in the car. Um, I'd like to make more connections and this is a really great way to do mm -hmm. it. Um, my neighborhood is really great at volunteering and um, so we have a small pool but we would really like you to volunteer at the parks closest to you. Mm -hmm. um, it makes it easier for you to help clean up or notice changes and differences that you need made um, and we'd really like, <laughs> yeah, I see you, you did it. Good job. Um, we'd really like the people using the parks to put input into what we can change and help mm -hmm. with. Well, we we need always need help with all of them, you know, and it's just it makes it so. It, it just uh, makes my heart feel good when I go by the park and I see the kids using them. 
Yep. Or I see kids out on bicycles. Mm -hmm. it, it's always a great thing. Yeah, if you come to Red Willow Heights, we have about 14 kids under the age of 11 and they have their own <laughs> little biker game. So it's a very wonderful community to be a part of and to um, do some volunteer work to help our parks out a little bit more. We got some really great edging around lots of our parks with mm -hmm. the P-Rock, which has been fabulous, but there's broken equipment on it or some mm -hmm. that are vandalized or just not looking as nice as they used to. So those are our small, um, okay, <laughs> there are short-term goals, mm -hmm. um, but we also have some really big long-term goals that we are seeking out different funding for, um, different sponsors and um, some really fun things that we are trying to plan for the future, the longevity until he's 18 or um, to see us make an impact in our community we live in. Well, and it, it's nice to see the kids out in the park. And, and, it's, and it's a great thing to know your neighbors. Yep. And this is one way you can get together with you and your kids and, and the neighbor kids. Yep. Uh, I lived in, a, in Perm when I was small and we had enough kids for two baseball teams. Yep. In three blocks. Yep. <laughs> so yep, it was a have, lot of fun. We have T-ball night every now and then and of course coronavirus kind of deterred us last year but we're hoping to come out strong this year. Um, we have a really great community and I want to show my kids that they can make a difference in their community that they live in. It doesn't have to be a huge plan but it can be little by little. And how do they get a hold of you? Um, you can contact me um, with my email address, which is um, jorud, J-O-R-U-D, Trisha, T-R-I-S-H-A, 45, at gmail.com. Or um, you can call me at 218-850-2726. Well, I wish you all the best on this, and give me a call if you need me. You know, I will. I'd be more to, willing to help you with what I can. I'm not <laughs> real good at stuff anymore. But <laughs> <laughs> oh, we'll find something yeah. for you. Well, and I really appreciate you being on the program. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, and your and your children too. <laughs> yeah, they don't know it yet, but they'll be doing a lot of work for it. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we've had kids in the neighborhood before that worked on this one. Yeah. Yep. yep. So. No, he's always picking up um, garbage or noticing different things that need to be worked on, and so they're the best eyes. So you we are excited to have them. Close to the ground. Yeah. <laughs> so with that, remember adopt a park program. Talk to Tricia. You know, get involved. Help the kids in the neighborhood. Meet your neighbors. And remember. Pet the dog, hug the kids, kiss the wife, and wave at the neighbor. <laughs> the next person you wave at could be your next best friend. And we'll see you next week on Spotlight on Frazee.